I take what I am about to say here very seriously. This is a responsibility that has been weighing on my shoulders for quite some time. Nobody else can do what I am about to do, and I'll explain why. The right wing thinks that there are only two genders. The left wing is anti-hierarchical, and so only me, only I, can put all of the genders into a tier list format. Here's how we're gonna do things. I have a lot of flags. I don't know what all of them mean. In fact, I, I know what uh, sort of none of them mean, but I have inspect element. And so it'll tell me over here what the name of the, of the flag is. And then we're going to cross check it on the gender wiki. I can't even find male and female just picking it out. So I guess we're going to have to just go in order. Which one to start with? Let's pick up, let's pick something innocuous, huh? Let's pick something people would, mm, you know, a good, a good, a good choice. Arse and gender is a gender identity in which one doesn't connect with or believe in gender and experiences a feeling of wanting to burn it all down. That's pretty good. Just based off of my, the vibe that I get towards it, I'm going to put that on a, a, as an S. A for arson. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking high A, low S. These ones will probably be the least controversial, so let's just knock them out, you know, right now, right here, man and woman, D tier. It's played out, man, woman, played out. No what I want to see is cat gender. Yeah, that's right, cat gender. I'm not even going to look this one up. I just know it's an S tier already. A gender, genderless or lacking gender. This is an F tier. Now, look. Agender is basically the apoliticism of gender. What, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna choose? You're not gonna play the game? F. F. Camilo gender. Now we're onto something. Now we're onto something. Camilo gender. Gender associated with being a chameleon. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, no, it's not about being a chameleon. I, don't, I, th I guess cat gender is, your gender is associated with being a cat, but a Camilo gender, it's not associated with being a chameleon, but it's the same mechanism of being a chameleon. It's a subtype of gender fluid. This is interesting. They have base genders, example, a gender, but it adapts the individuals around them. If you're around a bunch of people who make you feel comfortable as a woman, you will blend in like the chameleon and become a woman. I'm gonna put it in C for now. This is like the gender fluid tier, I guess. Jew gender, yes, perhaps. Wow. A lonit. A lonit? I don't know. A gender from Jewish culture where one was identified as a female at birth but develops male characteristics later in life. There are a lot of different Jewish words for gender. Zakar, someone identified as male at birth, presenting a male later in life. So a cisgender male. Nekeva, identified female as birth, presents as female later in life. Cisgender woman. A lonit, that's where we are now identified as female at birth, but shows male characteristics later in life. It seems to me that this is basically just, this is the equivalent of a trans person, but I guess the difference is that there's a different tradition behind it. I'm gonna put it in the same rank as I would put a male to female or female to male, which I think would have to be, hmm. I guess the question is, hmm. a narco gender. Now we're talking! Anarcho-gender is a gender with two definitions. The first definition is a non-binary gender characterized by a rejection of the gender binary and its social hierarchy. Okay, rejecting the gender binary, but not the concept of gender, that's important. The second definition is that being an anarchist affects your perception of gender. It could also mean one's gender is just anarchy, and it is identified to be up to the interpretation of whoever uses the label. Do we have, say, a totalitarian gender? And can you be both? Can you be a gender superposition between anarcho gender and fascisto gender? Is this ANCOM's canon gender? All very good questions. Definitely good, okay? It's like a political ideology plus a gender. I mean, that's strong, that's powerful. I'm gonna put it in S tier. I'm gonna put it in S tier. Crypt gender, right, okay. So the crypt gender flag is this one and it's an association with cryptids. Solitude, connection to the wilderness, disconnect from humanity, mystery, being undocumented. Xeno gender in which one identifies with or groups themselves with cryptids. This can be a standalone term or be paired with other terms such as crypt girl, crypt boy, etc. One may also be kin with a cryptid. 
or this may be used as a kin gender identity. Mm, yeah, A tier, A tier, because it's a xenogender. Xenogenders by nature are going to be S or A, I think. I mean, unless there's some really cringe xenogender defined by its connection to Endermen and or the end from Minecraft, space or voids. It is meant for those who feel a connection to Endermen or feel that their gender is fluctuating, partially or fully absent or hard to understand slash pinpoint. In addition, those who identify as Enderhorde may hoard or collect other gender identities that build onto their sense of gender, similar to how Enderman will steal and place blocks for itself. You know, that's a cool one. That's a cool one. High A, low S? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling high A, low S. You know, aesthetic gender. Series of non-binary xenogenders derived from, are the embodiment of, are similar to, related to, or share the qualities with an aesthetic or sensory experience. Aesthetic genders can be based on symbols, ideas, or things, typically described using things like texture, size, shape, light, sound, or other sensory characteristics. A plus, go where you belong, aesthetic gender. Gender identity where someone feels as though they had no gender, but a gender has been washed up and now exists due to traumatic experiences or abuse. Should be only used by those with PTSD and other trauma survivors. Okay, so I believe there is a subsection of genders that are specifically tied to your mental illness or a mental illness that you have. Again, another crossover episode we've got here. Neurogender, that's it, neurogender. When one's gender is in some way linked to one's neurodivergence, mental illness, or neurological conditions. And so, and so, this, you know, even though it's not marked as such, is a neurogender. B plus. I think, I think neurogender is probably a solid B plus tier. Astro, astrogender. Uh, fluid gender identity that transitions from male to female to non-binary depending on the current configuration of the night sky. Now that's pretty based. I'm, 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 I'm just gonna say it like it is. That's pretty cool. Hmm, night sky. I'm gonna give that an A plus. Yeah, I, I really like that. Like, okay, Audinic is a gender that is influenced and changed by one's hyperempathy. It is exclusive to neurodivergent individuals who experience hyperempathy. It is the hyperempathetic counterpart to Zoroic. Okay, okay. So this is the empath flag. We found it. We got the empath flag. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! And so what is Zoroic? Just to check that out. For neurodivergent individuals who experience hypoempathy or no empathy. Right, so this is the so this is the sociopath flag! Definitely an A. An A. Um, and then where's the sociopath gender? Uh, it's wait, it's at the bottom? At the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Two peas in a pod, those two. Multigender uh, people when one's gender are all in equal amounts. Okay, oh, so it's it's defined by it, an equal amount of both gender. So, for example, a bi-gender person, 50% male, 50% female, that is an equigendered person. The genders are evened out. It would be interesting, though, to say you were equigender, but you are like, say, 50% male and 50% demiboy, right? Because that would mean you are like, 75% male. E equilibrio gender, where one is a balance between two or more genders at the same time. So that's the same thing. Uh, same, same thing. Exactly the same thing. Hmm. Kind of both C, I'd say. I really, I, I really do want to go by these quicker, but I also need to absorb the information before I move on. Because otherwise, you know, if you're not going to take your time and really understand the concept, then well, what, what, what are you even doing it for? Azonos gender? Okay, a term specific to headmates within a system who are transgender in the inner world, however, they share the same gender as their bodies assigned gender at birth. I'm already getting neurogender vibes, but... Who knows? This is for um, plural people. When they have or they experience multiple people in their head, then this is a headmate. So someone who shares your brain, essentially, a living conscious, a tulpa, maybe, if you will. They share the same gender as their body's assigned gender at birth. So basically, a trans woman with a, uh, a tulpa or a other personality in their head, that is male. That's such a specific neurogender, and it's a gender for the guy living in your head. Honestly, pretty based. Bisu. In southern Indonesia, Bisu are often called gender transcendent. Uh, in religious ceremonies, they act as priests, give blessings, give guidance, and can be seen as intermediaries between the people and the spirit world. Bisu may enter the dwelling places uh, and the villages of both men and women. So gender transcendent. True. So we have, okay, we have a lot of good things going for it. it it's, it's, um, it's transcending gender, but it's still playing the gender game. It's placed on a traditional role between uh, above 
male and female. You can operate within both of the spaces simultaneously. And you're given a positive role in the world. Okay, the Bisu belongs to one of the five genders. Okay, so they've got they've got five genders. I, I missed that. That's relevant. They are divergent theories regarding their definitive origins. For one to be considered Bisu, all aspects of gender must be combined to form a whole. It is believed that you were born with the propensity to become a Bisu, revealed in a baby whose genitalia are ambiguous. Ambiguous genitalia need not be visible. A normative male who becomes a Bisu is believed to be female on the inside. This combination of sexes enables a metagender identity to emerge. However, ambiguous genitalia alone do not confer the state of being a Bisu. Basically, it's partially biological, but it's also partially cultural. Like, you grow up and you are formed into this Bisu archetype. Is the, is the Indonesian gender better than the Jewish gender? I'll put them, I'll put them together. Butter gender. Uh, xenogender and gastrogender related to butter. Butter gender is described as a gender related to a butter or sharing the aesthetic shape flavor of butter. A salty, smooth, buttery gender. I don't know. That's, that's, that's really interesting. It's really gotten the gears turning in my brain. Soft boy gender, C minus. C minus. Assign me a gender, please. Please give me a new gender. I love you for real. Um, yeah, let's 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 assign people gender. I think that's a that's a good idea. Okay, I bequeath you drag gender. All right, this is for people with a deep connection to me. Um, you can call yourself uh, Dre Drem Driz or drag drag self. I feel a deep connection to drag gender. This is the gender that appeals to me. Uh, I was, you know, if I if I if I can, I might actually change my pronouns to. Dream. Drag, you can't just make a gender for yourself. Question mark, exclamation mark. Yeah, okay, uh, you're going on timeout. Think about that next time you open your mouth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe rethink how we're doing this. Um, we haven't made too much progress. There's still like, there's like a lot of this you left, you know? And I'm, I'm, unless we do like, three or four parts of this. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Boy.png. When one identifies completely as a boy, plus additional genders. Well, it's definitely, it's good, it's boy plus. A bunch of blocks stacked on top of each other. I'm not even gonna try to guess. When one's gender is built in layers, each layer being strong and sturdy. I'm imagining a framework built on top of a framework. For example, um, you could have a broader meta framework for your, your philosophy about the world and the universe in general. And then on top of that framework, you build your political framework and it stems out of your broader philosophical framework, but it's coherent just as a political identity in and of itself. I'll give it a high C. Burnson. Burnson? Uh, nope. Not the face I wanted to see. My arc rival. I remember when I was but a boy and I made a joke. And someone said, oh, that's a very Bo Burnham-esque joke. And now he's got a gender. Well, isn't that just peachy? Well, you know what, Bo? I've got a gender, too. I've got a gender, too. Anyway. The desire to destroy everybody similar to you is the same desire of differentiation and individuation of the ego that makes you a market force. It's like someone's opened up a pizza shop right, out, right, out, right next door to your pizza shop. You know, you never want that to happen. And so you have to hire a guy to burn the pizza shop down. Scenarian is a choice in nature gender where one chooses a gender and while being it, they burn it to a crisp. So they need a new gender. They can't actually use the same gender again and hop around from gender to gender, burning them up. So these people, they're like, almost like the succubi of gender. They find the gender, they, they devour its essence or they destroy it or something. So it can also be used as a gender on its own and can be added to a gender that one chooses to have. For example, vampire choice where one chooses to be vampire gender, right? You know, I think it would be cool if vampire gender was like, you have to keep going from gender to gender every, every night. You, you have to, you're one gender a day for the rest of your life. And like, you know what, if, if your last gender is dream gender, uh, I think that's a fascinating concept, so I'm going to give it a B. I am going to save some time here and assume that this Jew gender here is just the opposite version of, or I guess the inverse of this one, which I've already forgotten the name of. So I'm going to put this one here, just knock that out. Just the trans flag. 
where do we put that? The white stripe is for the non-binaries, right? Is that, that, that's the case, right? I thought, you know, call me crazy, but I thought it was blue for the men protecting the homeland, uh, pink for the women at home taking care of the children, and white for the purity of the... White race. I like, I like specificity and extreme. It refers to the feeling that one's gender identity is tied to one being butch. I didn't, I didn't really have to look that one up. It's a C minus. Kied sexual is an orientation on the asexual spectrum, defined as someone who feels that they were allosexual at one point, but that it has been taken or cut away from them due to past trauma. So it's, it's basically you are asexual because trauma has taken away your sexuality. Dark. That's, that's dark. I think the only thing worse than being this gender um, would, would be being put in F tier irreverently. The term calico is used because calico gender is wacky and cute. Easy C tier. A gender identity in which one feels that their gender is unimportant or one is indifferent to the idea of gender. Sorry, buddy. A xenogender in subset of bug gender where one feels a strong connection towards centipedes. An alternate meaning is where one feels that their gender is always running away and they can't tell what it is or they are afraid of it. Not masculine or feminine, but if one does feel a strong connection to either, then they can use the label sent a boy or sent a girl. That's powerful. I mean, it's like better than cat gender. Okay, centrogender. Cent. <laughs> Cent. This better not be what I think it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still bad. I'm not, I, I've read one sentence and I want to put it, you know what, Zed. Ugh. It's a gastrogender that relates to chicken nuggets. This relation may be through flavor, aesthetic, shape, or any other medium. Okay, the term gastrogender was coined by a troll. However, the term has been widely and fully reclaimed in recent years. This is the perfect example of accelerationism in action. Any process that you can try to fight will subsume your fighting against it and incorporate that fighting into the system. So your resistance to whatever you're trying to resist will simply make the thing you're trying to resist go faster. Anyway, the point is, I think you should pick like 30 of these and try to like combine them in a, in a unique way. That is the way forward, kids. That's powerful stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think that's an S, cisgender. No, I mean, I think this one's pretty clearly a, an F. Cisgenderant, non-cisgender, or cis-dissident is an umbrella term for anyone who is not cisgender. It's not exclusive to transgender individuals, as not all non-cis individuals identify as trans. It's, it's a C-, minus, but it's, it's like a weak C-. minus. Color bar gender, also known as test card gender, is a label for those who feel the need to calibrate or reassess and possibly change their gender identity, essentially testing their identities to make sure they are accurate. It can be described as self-doubt, the gender. It strikes me as the centrist, sort of dipping his toe into different political streams. Hmm, think about this one, think about that one. It's boring, not really blowing any brains. Commie gender, you ever just look back on what you've done, on the things you've created with a strange mix of satisfaction and revulsion? You're gonna seize the means of of capitalistic gender production by making commie gender. Your regimes are quite scary. <laughs> Jesus. Confugender is a micro label for gender flux or gender fluid individuals that know they are fluid or fluctuate between genders, but don't know what gender they are at a certain time. Pretty easy, honestly. <clears throat> I hate to just smash this into F tier. Gender, which flows through space and time, constantly changing, always moving. The fact that it's tied to space is good. Um, put this in B. This is actually the gender of contrapoints. Is the state identifying as the anti-gender, anti-gender of one agab? For example, one who is assigned male at birth might feel that they are the opposite of male, anti-boy, but not necessarily female. I gotta reread that one. Is there a Garfield gender? Meme gender connects to Garfield memes, okay. Any xenogender connected to a meme. See, I think this actually is a fascinating example of post-irony. Every attempt to destroy the system within the system powers the system up. Right, so contragender 
uh, kind of getting like C tier vibes. Not to be confused with thought gender. Control gender is where one is fully in control of their gender and when focused on, they can make it anything they want. That's powerful. Um, when they're not controlling it, it can be anything. <laughs> okay, broad. This is an interesting one. It implies that you're coming from a place of either fluidity or agenderness, but you can hop in and out of genders, which is fascinating. Xenogender in the technogender system, it conveys one gender as a feeling of exhaust, depleted energy, and or tiredness. So this, this is people with chronic fatigue disorder who have made it into a gender. Probably give it a B. In a gender, that's an S. We are, we are, we're all addicted to the same things. Dino gender. Uh, I can already guess what this one is, and it's an S. Dog gender. We're going to put this right next to cat gender. E ego gender. See, like I feel like with this one, instead of having just four colors, a, a symbol would really do a lot of work here. One's gender can only be described as themselves and is therefore unique to them. For every Tumblr user that creates a gender, there is a 4chan user that creates a political ideology. Why do the fem cells and the incels simply not date each other? Yeah, somewhere in the seas. Echo gender is a gender that feels confusing and hard to understand, and in attempts to better understand the gender, someone who is echo gender will mimic the gender of individuals around them. This is chameleon gender. This is AI gender. So these three feel like the same thing to me. Endogender is a gender for when, for when one's gender is fluid or fluctuating, but is always at least somewhat related to a given gender. Now, I hate to say it, but uh, this is the same thing that I've seen a million times before. Because it's the same, well, no, 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 C minus. I'm gonna put, put them with this one. That's the same thing as those ones. Emesis is a gender modality where one feels heavily related to their assigned gender at birth, which makes them comfortable by going by cisgender, even though they're not cisgender. Now, I'll put that as low D, low D. Lack of gender distinction, F. Erinivian people can have any or all genders. There's just a disparity between those genders and their conceptualization. Tongan individual assigned male at birth with feminine gender expression. I'm putting this right squarely with the Jews. A gender that is a little bit boy, a little bit girl, a little bit non-binary, and the rest is something else. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a low B. Is YouTube the place for art? I guess the better question is, is it a place for artists? I think there's a difference between art and this numb drip feed of dopamine content that exists. I think I remember seeing a flag with a frog on it. Oh, let's find out what that one is. <laughs> <laughs> a gender in which one feels like their gender is locked behind a grayed out icon. Give that one a D, D tier. Ezenor is a term used for those who are incapable of labeling their gender, sexuality, romantic orientation, or another similar identity due to trauma, neurodivergence, mental disability, or physical disability. I feel very comfortable giving this a low score. Um, yeah, third gender or non-binary roles. I think we're putting all those traditional ones over there. The traditional third gender role from Northern tradition. Aha, boom, again. You know, we know exactly what to do with this. We don't have to read the whole thing. A gender that is strongly connected to femininity, girlhood, and womanhood, but not in the same way as a human woman or girl would be connected to femininity. I don't know. It seems like being a woman with extra steps. D tier. Oh, pronounced e ev gender or F gender. So why is it e EU gender? Absolute affirmative gender as opposed to anti-gender. Anti-gender. The first is an umbrella term for any gender that can only be described as being the opposite of another gender. Okay. That's, that's powerful. See, that is actually, that is fascinating. And that's a, that's a fascinating thing to chew on. I mean, trying to conceptualize male and female, not as opposites, and then saying an anti-gender of a male is not a female. It's just whatever the opposite of a male is. So this is an anti-anti-gender. Anti-girl is over here. And so when we're talking about the girl, we're not talking, just talking about the girl, we're talking about you girl, <laughs> ev girl. All right, that's interesting. But as it, as it is, it's just, it's not saying anything. It's not adding really anything. Um, I'm going to put it just like C minus. When thought about feels empty and draining. Okay, I know where this goes. A gender that feels distanced from Earth and its gender binary and alienated from other gender identities. It is based on and or related to aliens and other extraterrestrial life forms. Based. Absolutely based. What is the solution to noise? I know what the solution is. Gender is one facet of complexity. Gender is complex. Young people today are exploring their gender in ways that explode my generation's understanding of gender as binary, universal, and fixed. It's tempting. I feel a pull towards my bed. 
towards the warm embrace of the comforter and towards the sweet kiss of unconsciousness. Am I looking at a political compass right now? Gender shuffle, okay. Act of mixing and matching two or more genders. One can also change the number of genders at one time, okay. If someone manages to get a flag, which is like, I, this is specifically a flag for when I'm a dinosaur half the time and a cat the other half the time. You know, that's, that's the SS tier, you know, SS plus. If, uh, if you're a fascisto gender combined with an anarchist gender, that's the SS tier. You know, that's what we're looking for. That's the, that's the holy grail. A xenogender connected to fan fiction, those who identify while re reading or writing fan fiction, like you might be male when not reading fan fiction and female when reading fan fiction. I'm, I've, I have a strong desire to go to bed. Um, and I think that might have pushed me over the edge. Anyways, my unironic political ideology is, uh, I've decided not to sleep. I attempted to sleep, but I closed my eyes and I just thought about gender. The gastro genders, the xeno genders, the fauna genders, anti gender and meta gender. I just couldn't stay away. And I have decided not to leave until this is done. Femini, fe, feminafi, fe, femin, feminafi, okay. Femina fidem is a term for Christians who are transgender women. Maybe an A+. Plus. Influenced or best described by trees and nature. Subcategory of naturogender. Powerful stuff, A+. Plus. Gender minus. I'm getting bad vibes, F. Exclusive to Chinese people and is used to describe a gender that is like the wind. Playful, fickle, and all over the place. Probably B. Gender float. Gender float people feel above gender, being non-binary. However, gender float want to present in a fluid manner. I think probably it's fair to put most of these things into like a D plus tier. Okay. Uh, yeah. Gender nihilism. That has legs. Okay, so this seems like a kind of generic left-wing analysis of gender as power structure. Um, but it seems to be coming at it from like an anarchist lens. However, the refusal to commit to anything in specific, instead it's, it's, it's really just kind of a, a political gender, which would have been cool, but there's no specific gender that it's associated with. So I'm going to give that one a, uh, probably an F. Gastro gender. This one's broad, but I'm going to give it a, uh, like a low B. Um, and then the more specific ones like chicken nugget gender. S tier. Gender forced. The idea of making somebody or forcing somebody into a gender or having a your gender defined by being forced by somebody else. A B plus. Neurogender. Oh, neurogender. This is a classic. We've been we've been learning all about neurogender. I'm gonna put this one near the PTSD gender. Gender apathetic. F. Don't even have to read it. Gender creative. I suppose this is, you know, being creative with your gender. Again. Good, but lobster gender. This is Jordan Peterson's gender. We're putting it right near the cat. Shopping cart gender. Okay, I assume that's when you go window shopping for genders and you're like, ooh, this one looks nice, this one looks nice. I am now guessing. Muta gender. Fluix gender where a person's gender continuously changes at random intervals with each gender experienced at different intensities. It's when someone experiences a gender, but that gender is unexplainable and can only be identified as gender and nothing else. Okay, that's the same one as ego gender pretty much the same. A similar to gender Craig in which one has multiple genders that harshly contradict each other due to being neurodivergent. Like it, 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 it just like it's better than PTSD because it's like there's a, there's a strict contradiction going on there. So it's like neurogender, but superior to neurogender. It's like a B plus. A xenogender in the technogender system in which somebody defines their gender as ill-defined, glitchy, crowded, or static. It goes D plus with the gender shifters. They're all the same to me. Blasts into xenogenders. What is a blast? For example, someone could experience a blast of color gender and then fall down to agender. So I, expo I, I expect that means that they experience their, their gender as a blast all at once. You know, I don't know what I was expecting with, with the Twitch chat, but it's really... It's got it's got to go. Girl.png. Boom. Same thing. Glass gender. Seems like a A plus to me. Fluid xenogender described as a gender that is very fragile and sensitive. It feels more broken slash damaged the more it is invalidated slash hated on. 
It can be used by itself or with other genders. I don't know. What, what else am I going to do? Go to sleep? I don't think I could. My neurons are firing too heavily. Pew, 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 pew. No. This ends only tonight and only in one way. With me finishing this tier list. Blast gender is when you experience your gender in a, like a burst. Um, and it can burst into other genders. And in that case, that's an interesting concept. That's like a B. I don't fully understand blast gender. And I could understand it better, but that's it's a B for now. Gender queer, maybe like slightly above trans. Somewhere, it's somewhere with the trans and non-binary. Uh huh. Yep. This goes with the Jews. Is this Arabic? No, this is a train. Uh, gender train. S. Juxera flag. Juxera. Juxera, that sounds familiar. Should I know what that is? Gender strongly connected to femininity, but in a different way to how women are connected to femininity. Okay, again, this exists already. Inability to understand the concept of gender or having a gender due to neurodivergence. Gender what individuals may also identify as neurogender. So they don't understand the concept of gender, but they have made a gender for themselves. It's like not understanding politics, but making a political ideology for yourself, which I can respect. But unfortunately, it is it is opting out of the game a little bit. The neurodivergence does bump it up a little bit. That, that, that saves it from being abysmal, the neurodivergence aspect. Gender fluid. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't talked about gender fluid already. C tier really is just the gender fluid tier. So I'm going to put that one as the lead C tier. A xenogender that feels related to gifts or presence comes as a surprise and slowly starts unwrapping. <sighs> I think this one probably gets a high rating because it hurt my brain a little bit. A gender for intersex people only. Okay, interesting. Referring to any gender identity fundamentally tied to one's intersex identity. Yeah, put in put in put it as a solid B then. Solid B. Verfidem, that is the other side of the Christian coin, which I find very interesting. We'll give both those guys A's. None. Again, F. It's like a low F. All these X's I think are all just like non-gender. Non-gender F, I feel no shame in giving those F's. Nihilist gender F. I'm not 100% sure <laughs> what they are, but I know that they are probably some equivalent of the cultural third gender. Gender void, F. Drag gender. Drag gender. Drag gender. Drag gender? Drag gender. Drag gender? Drag gender. I gotta sort this out. What else could this be? But SS tier. It doesn't make sense anywhere else. We found the peak gender. This this gender was made for me. Or should I say this gender was made... This gender was made for... Drmi. Dr, dr, dr me. No, I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't say that. A xenogender in which the light gender individual feels that their gender can only be described as a light. This may be any kind of light, and it may consist of different brightnesses or color. And then there's all these different kinds of lights. A gender that feels like a quick, sh quick sharp bolt of electricity. This one's got legs. This is like a B plus. Neither. Oh. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to replace both with neither. Leptive method of classifying genders. A subcategory of audio gender, an umbrella term for any gender that is related to or can be described using music theory, should not be confused with music a gender, which is gender described by a specific genre of music. Also referred to as evilic is a queer identity that feels proud of and reclaims the idea that their identity as queer is devilish, a sin, or inherently bad. Okay, so it's like they're really playing up the fact that they're a negative element. Maybe even a low B. Is this a kangaroo? No, this is a narwhal. That's a high S. <sighs> I swear, these these gender people really need some... It refers to someone who identifies as both a man and Partially binary, partially non-binary. Term for someone who feels very strongly associated to being a female slash Gender that girl. turns the binary genders into one gender. Non-binary gender in between female and androgyne. The masculine counterpart is androx. The epicene counterpart is neutrange. Of course, similar to a zero. Slime Obviously. gender is slime gender. What? Slime. Type of xenogender describing one who has an absence of gender besides slime or passionately identifies with slime or simply wishes to incorporate slime or goo into their gender to better understand. Yes, I guess. Chess. 
gender. Non-binary gender. gender described as being completely independent from male, female, associated with having a neutral or so male gender. So your gender is related to your sexual orientation in some way. One's gender is one's orientation, or when one's orientation is so intrinsic. Okay, okay. You're, so you being straight is tied to your gender, you being gay is tied to your gender. That's interesting. A xenogender that is powerful in a gender high status, not type of gender fluid identity, spectrum, and gender stuff. changes in a consistent repeating cycle comparable to gender that has been blue. defined in multiple ways. It is most well known as a gender in which one is mostly a given gender. A xenogender that feels as if it's on a higher plane of existence and is um, pan gender flag. You experience all genders. I am all known genders. This this is the original anti-centrist movement. You have to like get rid of the lame ones, obviously, but the low tier genders. One who is unsure about one's gender or how to define one's gender, but knows it or a part of it. Pan gender is excellent. You have every gender. That's like a that's actually an SS as well. It's disconnected from the mortal concept of gender. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, pretty good. Yes, excellent. A tier. And then let's, this is the last one. Yeah, even more, more Chad. It's like the most Chad ultra gender you can get. It's a good way of looking at it. And then this one, last one. This had better not just be, it's when you're unsure of your gender. Because we've had like 15 of those. And if I have one more as the last one, it's going to be very unfortunate. An umbrella term for any genders that are unknown. <laughs> Unnamed, undecided, unsure, undefined, unidentifiable, unquantifiable, unexplainable, or undetermined in nature. Ah. Uh. Thanks for coming. Dreg, what was the artistic value of these hours of gender wiki reading? You know, I believe that if you zoom out and you take an, a lens in, of which the, the reading was filtered through, I think you could pretty much, you know, pretty clearly see 